Listen, I know I'm going to get minus two for this. Well, maybe not. A lot of the people that work in tech are probably still asleep right now because they're working like flex or like three days home, two days in the office or whatever. And a Friday, I mean, that's got to be it. Well, unless you have happy hour at the office, <clears throat> in which case you might go in on Fridays because at lunch you could have a couple of Imperial IPAs and like push the dev build to production, go home and then wake up and find out you accidentally like leaked a database with the home addresses of all of your customers. Anyway, I'm, I might be farming minus twos for this. I'm a little bit, I'm, I'm early, but I'm later than I expected to be because my ass was looking for the USB cord that goes into the PlayStation 5 controller. Now, I don't really mind that there's a million different kinds of cords, okay? Because I grew up in an era, there would be, there's a special cord that went from your printer into your computer. And then there was a, the monitor uh, cable that has like the two screws on it and stuff like that. So I, I understand. The, the worst part about it, I would say, is, is the hypocrisy. Because <clears throat> I feel like there were too many cords, proprietary cables. So they invented USB, and the U means universal. That means you can plug it into any other USB-enabled device, plug it into any USB port, and it would be okay. Then they got USB 1, USB 2, USB... I don't even know if there's a USB 3, but it turns out that the PlayStation uses USB-C. Now, I'm ignoring the technical specifications of... USB-C, because I have no idea what makes it better, what makes it worse. As the end consumer, all I want is my device to charge and be functional. But why do we have seven different kinds of universal cable? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. You want to know the fucked up part? There's different kinds of USB-C. Are you shitting me, man? Are you shitting me? <laughs> what are they doing, man? What are they doing? Different types of USB-C. Oh my god, man. It brought up like a fucking flowchart on Google Images. Jesus Christ. USB Type-A, USB Type-B, USB Type-C, USB Mini-A, Mini-B, Micro-A, Micro-B, Micro and S Micro-B Super Speed? They don't even look even close to similar, man. I work at a Best Buy given this is giving me PTSD. Well, you're the ultimate victim because A, you didn't make the cables and then you got to fucking deal with the customers who are like, I can't charge my shit. And then you're like, oh, it's just a USB. And then they're like, isn't this a USB? And you're like, oh, here we go. <laughs> yes and no. I'm trying to fix this right now. Watch out for USB D next spring. No, man, you got it. No, you got it wrong, dude. Can we just like the, the Pandora's box can't be closed. OK, but could we at least like you know, push the lid down a little bit. I'm sure that some USB and some Pandora will still leak out, but like, we, we could just stop now. We got USB-C, man. It charges really fast. It seems to allow quite a lot of data to get transferred over the cord in a very small amount of time. That's the goal with USB-C. Yeah, but wasn't it the goal with fucking USB-A too? Can't they make the cables like backwards compatible? Like Sony figured it out, man. You could put a PlayStation 1 game into a PlayStation 2. You could put a PlayStation 1 game into a PlayStation 3, but I can't plug a USB-A into a USB-C. There's adapters, man. Look at what they've done to you. They've released 900 different types of USB cables. No, no big deal. I'll just go to Amazon and buy one adapter for each use case. Now, instead of having one cable that plugs into everything, I've got seven cables and then seven factorial adapters so I can pair them with every single one of my devices. Shit's going to look like a HR Geiger fever dream, man. You can put a PS1 disc into a PS5. Can you really? It won't play. <laughs> <laughs> 
You could put it in the this tray though. Will it suck it up? Doesn't it do like a, a check? You know, like a phospholipid membrane? Doesn't it have like a handshake where it goes like, this is an acceptable thing and then it sucks it up? What's the difference between a joint and a blunt? Is a blunt like a joint? I'm trying to think of how to describe it. A joint is kind of like a slug, like it tapers at the front and it tapers at the end. And then a blunt is like a ramp. It's the part that you put in your mouth is thin and the part that you light is fat. Bro never went to college. I mean, we were smoking weed out of old, you know, green translucent two liter ginger ale bottles, which you should not do. Because I'm pretty sure that shit is like giga bad for your lungs. <laughs> but you know, you only do it like 100, 150 times. You're probably okay. <laughs> yeah, just don't make it a habit for like longer than like a decade or so. You ever smoke out of an apple? Nope. Why'd you stop smoking? I never really started. I guess is like that's kind of cope. Like, basically, I just, in university, for one summer, I lived with a guy who smoked a lot of weed. So, every now and then, I would smoke weed with him. And then he moved out. And, I mean, he was the plug. So, at that point, I was like, well, I guess it's time to not smoke weed. Because I don't know how to get that shit. But that was, like, 2007. <laughs> that was, uh, that's ancient history, man. He actually stopped whenever he wanted. Can I say something? And I, maybe I should wait until Monday when Dan can't be M. But there's something I, I just want to pick his brain about why he keeps stunting about trying to quit Coke Zero. But meanwhile was bragging about like his uh, anytime touchdown DraftKings bet hitting in the Chiefs versus Ravens game last night. Like, what do you think is what do you think is worse for you? Coke Zero or sports gambling on your phone? That's the question that I want to ask, because I know he's, he's big into the health and the wellness, and he doesn't want to drink the chemicals. I can understand that. You're trying to live a pure life. But then when he was talking about doing sports gambling on his phone, I was like, I don't know, man. I, I don't know if maybe it's too close to the, to the heart for me to bring it up. NL, when you bet five bucks on a game. Urgh, chat, when you drink a health potion. I lost my cousin to caffeine addiction. Do you want to hear the story? Not really, because there's only two outcomes and they're both bad for both of us. One is that like this is actually a tragic story and like you bum everybody out, which is fine. Like sometimes sad things happen in life and it's nice to not avoid those. But at the same time, we're trying to have some fun here. You know, it might not be the right environment. The other one is that like I end up insulting your cousin by saying like i guess i'm just built different and then you start to resent it and i start to resent that you brought up the question in the first place it just leads us down like a bad path okay again i'm not saying you can't get addicted to caffeine i am saying coke zero has caffeine but not enough to elicit a drug response when you're a different kind of beast like me when you play falco because there was no trying to quit coke zero for me i just um stopped buying it from the store and as a result didn't drink any more of it and didn't notice any change in my life in any way that I'm not saying there wasn't a measurable change if you were to do like some blood work or like a, a, a brain scan or something but uh, I as the individual in charge of, of the awareness of my body did not notice a change but I'd like to uh, so we don't need to we don't need to talk about it i guess is what i'm trying to say hang on i'm gonna die alone real quick and continue from chapter eight in the mystery manner i think it's fair that linda would be shocked here because a she hasn't seen the sheriff in a long time and b i'm just running the numbers it was 1963 he was maybe like 30 years old she's born 1933 so now it's 2024. This guy's looking damn good for 91, if I may say so myself. He might want to consider a presidential run, but let's see where this goes. What the hell are you doing here? The film strip. Do you have it? And his voice changed hey, a lot. Slow down. He's on the nitrous. Uh, excuse me, just who are you exactly? Yeah, why'd you come and swing and if you just want to talk? You keep your life the, his, did, did they swap voice actors? Sam, do I have to mind my own business too, or are you just talking to Stan's lying mouth? 
Maddie, this is Sam Green, Sheriff of Cedar Hills. Don't think you got much jurisdiction here, Pops. Former Sheriff. That's because he got punched in the mouth. <laughs> damn well why I'm here. Well, I must have forgotten. Oh, <laughs> well, isn't that nice for you? Because I just can't seem to stop cleaning up after your little problem child. Wait, are you talking about the film? Is he talking about the film? Oh, it was a bad move coming here, Linda. That cursed thing should have stayed forgotten. He's talking about the Minecraft movie. The end of this world. Maybe even every other. You're not making a lot of sense. Okay, Sam. You're not making a lot of sense. Are you sure you're okay? You're too old to be running around like a secret agent. I'm in the best shape of my That's life. That's impossible. You're 91 years Everything old. I'm telling you is true. All of this is because of what happened back in Cedar Hills. What's happening then, right now. Don't you understand what I'm saying? I, no. When your friend Sorry. tries to tell you to watch Dark on Netflix? Just tell me you still have your piece of the film. Yeah, I still have it. And them? We've all got our pieces. Oh, thank goodness. Is that a threat? <laughs> and at least I'm not too late. <laughs> but Augustine has made us all an offer. And you turned her down. Right? We haven't committed to anything yet. <sighs> okay. We did leave okay. them all in a bowl that we gave to <laughs> her, we though. And we haven't seen her since. Now, if we play our cards right, we might still have a chance to fix it. Linda, what is this guy talking about? The film strip you're carrying pieces of all around with you. It's part of a movie Linda made with her friends. With my son. How do you feel about that? Take it's the purple fill. It's, it's a prison. Something far older. Something more powerful than anything humanity's ever conceived. It's... They're calling it Kino. Malignant corruption and its hunger is unbounding. Oh, this is the way that uh, blue checks on Twitter were talking about the opening ceremonies of the Olympics. Pretty rich coming from you, Mr. Stanford. Hold on, you guys know each other? Uh, unfortunately, I have been on the receiving end of the former sheriff's outlandish claims and dramatic interjections for quite some time now. Dude is a walking mess. Uh, I gotta hand it to you. You are looking better than the last time I saw you, yeah? Who's your guy? Did this charlatan <laughs> tell you how he manipulated my son and stole his piece of the film when Robert was in a very vulnerable place in his life? I do my business on the level. I'm not out there sneaking around in the dark like some grubby little crook. The, the Mario movie, if it was directed by David Fincher? Walk this. I'm done with your shit, man. You made him leave the reliquary. Are you happy? Should we go after him? He loved the reliquary. Why don't you go keep an eye on Stan? Stan! You want a bathroom break or something? Shitter's clogged. Even when you're home alone? Yeah. Yeah, I always... I mean... A, I've seen Pulp Fiction, and I don't want to go out like that. B, I don't know. I just feel safer. Like, pooping with the door open is like it violates everyone else in my house that did not consent to smelling my shit. And if I'm closing the door because it's like a private moment, like I might as well lock it. Like, if, we, if there is a home invasion while I'm pooping, I would rather have like an extra couple of seconds to like figure it out. You know? Green door. <laughs> well, I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't that. Pants. What the heck is this place? That's a heckin' big chonker. This is, uh, this is Christine! This is Christine from an earlier time. Looks like some sort of pattern. Here we go, guys. 
it's actually probably the most doable thing you're ever gonna see. Oh, you know what? I gotta, I gotta rotate it further because I can't rotate the outer ridge. It's my mistake. <laughs> hey, Naruto AMV from 2007. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank okay, you. That made something Thank happen. you. That's good. Like, you're saying, like, why would they design something like this? But this is actually how, like, every new generation of technology is, it, how it feels for me. Now, obviously, it's not exactly the same. Like, you're, when you turn on your PlayStation 5, you're not, like, aligning the rings and then walking over to a lever and stuff. But that is how it feels. When you had a Super Nintendo, you put a cartridge in the top, push the purple button, then you were in, man, as long as you were on Channel 3. Now you boot up your PlayStation 5. Oh, you're not signed in. Recover your password. Your account was connected to an email address from your university from 11 years ago. Oh, you, you need a seven gigabyte update just to use the homepage. Oh, you want to go to the store? You need to update the homepage before you go to the store. Then you go to the store. The store has an update. Sorry, you can't download this stuff. Your controller has an update as well. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. You turned off your console the wrong way last time. I need 20 minutes to warm up. I'm here. What have they done to us, man? What have they done to us? You know what tweet I think about all the time? Is the one that's like, um, why the hell did I get an email from my bank telling me there's a message on my account and then I log into my bank and it says, we're the bank. That happens all the time these days. Just Worse than the CRA emails of, uh, we have sent you a message. Whatever I hear that, VIP Daniel. Thank you, Madison! Canada Revenue Agency sends you, uh, you have new mail in your Canada Revenue Agency mailbox. You, they send it at 11.58 p.m. The website closes at noon. Or closes at midnight, I should say. Like, what, what do you mean the website closes, man? You know the puzzles are not well designed when I can solve them that easily. <laughs> if I can solve them while bantering, then they didn't send their best. I'm sorry to say. Oh, get over it. You spent 44 years in the horologium. Big whoop. Try being a Baltimore Ravens fan. That's real misery. True. Sports fans on Twitter be like, oh. <laughs> the, the, the graph of like, you know, what it's like to be a Kansas City Chiefs fan that they always post that it's like, you know, they're watching the game and they're like, I, I love my team, I hate my team, I hate my team. I, uh. Being a Kansas City Chiefs fan is so stressful. Every Sunday I almost have a panic attack and then we eventually win. You all right? <laughs> Whoa. Get a What's life, wrong, man. man? Uh, nothing. I, uh... Let me help you. I, I'm fine. It's nothing. But you look as if something... I'm just looking for my dad. The sheriff? The sheriff. Yeah. Have you seen him? Whoa, Big wow. hat. Uh, yes. Badge. Uh, where? Here and there, now and then. He does have a way of showing up in the strangest of places. Wait, how long ago was he here? Just, just now or what? Uh, it was more than a minute. Less than a like tell him. <laughs> Man, fuck you, lady. <laughs> sure. Okay, thanks. you dumb asshole, get out! I'm, I got shit to do. Wasting my fucking time. This is like what chat sounds like when you ask them how to solve a puzzle. Have you considered that the ring might turn in two directions? Man, just tell me the exact sequence of inputs to put in on my controller, okay? Like, I am not a clever man. Anything in this place. The Ellen fit goes crazy, man. I just noticed the Chuck Taylors. 
It really d does look like she's about to introduce one of the shittiest games you've never seen before at E3, like, 2028. Hills. Featuring yes. all the hallmarks you've come to love from the hero shooter genre, as well as a unique twist dreamed up by us. Murder Mine. There's a whole other alternate version of Murder Mill. The Snyder Cut. Theater carnage blamed on sick flick. A, a screening of the film Murder Mill? Wait, this screening never happened. What is this? It actually is the Snyder Cut. We've got diverging timelines. Me getting my circumcision present from my girlfriend and it's the Snyder Cut Steelbook. Yes, dude, I love that. That's Friday energy right there. I love that for you. Good luck with your recovery. I went through it myself. Mind you, I think I was about seven minutes old when it happened, so I don't have like the most vivid memory of it, but I don't think I got anything. I guess I got the gift of life. Doesn't quite compare to the Snyder Cut Steelbook, but it's something, it's something. Bonnie didn't act in this scene. It was Chris. Yeah, that's true. It was Chris that you kissed after school. This isn't right. <sighs> Damn. Can you believe it was all practical effects? Okay, that is not what we shot. Me before I've had my morning coffee? True. Me drinking half of my wife's milkshake, even though I might be lactose intolerant? I'll be fine. Me on the toilet in the morning? Hollowed out eyeballs. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I drink your milkshake. It's true, man. That is true. Something's wrong. Like, very, very wrong. I think you're starting to see what we're up against. And unfortunately, I'm starting to think we might be too late. Come on. Stop. I'm not taking one more step until you tell me exactly what the fuck is going on here. And don't even think about saying one word short of the absolute truth, you hear me? The truth can be a slippery subject. Sam! Look, I'm sorry, Linda. But I just don't think I'm able to give you what you want. I take no pleasure in any of this. There's no reward for me when I've done what I've got to do. Yeah, I know. There's no gratitude, no gold watch. I know, I just want an explanation, man. Sort of a... Higher calling. This dude's giving me a lecture on like Reaganomics or something. I just, I don't know what's going on. I'm not a kid anymore. And you're not the sheriff. You don't get to play high and mighty with me. Linda. No, you won't be straight with me. Fine. But I'm not an idiot. I know how misdirection works. I can see what you're trying to hide. Did you think I wouldn't notice the second you walked in here? You should be at least 80 years old. Okay, that, so they are going to explain it. He's not actually 91. Sense? He got trapped in the so horology. I'm saying you might be Sam Green, but you're not the Sam Green I knew in Cedar Hills. Oh my God, it's season two of Archive 81. I thought it would never happen, man. Oh, hell no. Unk got horologized. Murder Mill X the Everything app. Viral posts be like, would you get in the horology chamber for <laughs> one Popeye's chicken sandwich? Another world. Worlds so close they bleed together. Do you see? The timelines I chose were special. The bleed strong. The entity straining against the edges. You got 30 minutes world. to watch this movie for $100,000. Who do you bring with you? What was the incident at your murder mill? I only needed the most perfect versions of his essence. Trapped on celluloid, projected at 24 frames a second. Frank Stone will be reborn. On the PlayStation 3. I needed Frank Stone at 24 frames per second. The Nintendo Switch version of Fortnite be like, No sweat, lady, I've got you covered. 
You know what that means, though? Now that we know this is like a multiversal situation, the most compelling genre of story out there right now, she could die because she might not be the Linda that shows up in 2024. This could be a different Linda. But that also means there might be like a billion Lindas out there, in which case, I guess I don't really care if she dies that much because there's always another Where one. Where is everyone? I don't know. <laughs> I'm of two minds about it, I suppose. Do you dig on multiverses? <clears throat> well, does uh, FaZe Banks glaze net spend with a gap behind them? Does Hector farm up a 13-minute Gleipner on Weaver? Is the Pope Catholic? No, seriously, I don't know anything about, like, religiosity. Aki. Always need one of these. Me and Lethal Company? Akagi. Remember that? Remember when I watched one anime and it was Akagi? <laughs> Please shut up. <laughs> Why? I don't know. We were playing a little Mahjong at the time. I hate to cinema sins it, but like, I think I missed a couple episodes of Akagi and then he was playing Mahjong against like an old wizard who was like every time Akagi lost in Mahjong, uh, he was like stealing a little bit of his blood. And I was like, what the fuck is going on, man? It upsets me when you don't write back. If you aren't sick, you needn't be withdrawn from me. Yada, yada, yada. Three weeks ago, you told me making friends was hard. Yada, yada, yada. Insects crawling under your skin, that old song and dance. Okay, no big deal. Frank was left psychologically vulnerable by his difficult upbringing. Oh, here we go. He's blameless. The murderer is blameless because his mom was a vessel for like a demonic entity to enter this world. No one can ever be blamed for anything. I get it. Millennials are trying to cancel Frank Stone. Hmm? Millennials are trying to cancel who? Coming out of my cage and I've been Tua just fine. Chibli, I love that for you. I think that's a... The Hawk Tua jokes, they got a lot of mileage, huh? Did you see Librarian photoshopped, uh, photoshopped me into uh, the guest okay. chair on the Talk Tua podcast? I thought it was a very devious Photoshop. The, the blending was very good. You were there? I don't even... That, that hat got thrown in the garbage probably like... 2019, if I had to guess. What's the podcast even going to be about? What's any podcast about, man? Making money. Fucking closing deals, bilking VCs out of their hard-earned money, chalking up to hard work that which can be explained by, like, the advantages you were born with. Like, it's, it's good old-fashioned, like, it's not blue-collar labor, but it's, like, the most blue-collar of all the no-collar labor. Oh, wait, hang on, hang on. Okay, maybe, maybe we could tight squeeze there. Asmongold's bathroom. You got anything for me in here? It's fucked up that, like, this doesn't look that much worse than, like, the average men's room. At the park, the uh, worst bathrooms you ever have. I, like, I would rather, in most circumstances, I would rather piss outside than piss in the camp toilets at the, at the public parks. But any port in a storm, I guess. Pissing in like a nice bathroom, like the Heidi Lau bathroom, that's a treat. Especially if you get yourself a stall. Although that does make it harder to piss in the sink. Have you only been two places in the last three months? No, it's just that Heidi Lau clears like almost any other family restaurant that like it deserves to be mentioned, man. Not to mention you're still talking about your summer abroad like 12 years later. And it wasn't even really like abroad. You went from the northeast coast of the United States to like Ireland. You were just binge drinking in like a different time zone. It wasn't really like a cultural exchange or anything. You were still rooting for the same NBA team. Is this guy fully glazing Heidi Lau with a gyat behind him? A what? It would have been sick if Tomo was there. Now I've turned my head IRL so I can't remember where I was in the game. It is crazy though, pissing outside is like a little thrilling for sure, but shitting outside is horrible. God. Like, if I ever get out of this maze, I'm gonna take Bonnie's advice 
and leave Cedar Hills. Like pissing outside, you're like, man, it's amazing to be like the most enlightened animal that's ever existed on planet Earth. Shitting outside, you're like, what the fuck did I do? What horrible choices led me to this sorry fate? <laughs> pissing outside, I am one with nature. Shitting outside, oh, what the fuck happened, man? I've sunk so far. <laughs> Were we born just to suffer? To the red light? Who am I, Ludacris? You see Ludacris throw out the first pitch with that, uh, with the arm prosthetics? Anyway. That was real. Ghibli, do you even know who, like, Ludacris is? He has big arms and he plays baseball? Alright, you don't know anything, man. You don't know anything, never mind. He's like my generation's, uh, Magdalena Bay. True. <laughs> All right, maybe some gameplay. Frank Stone. Fuck. <laughs> She's a speedy Frank reader, Jones man. Journal. He's really writing this shit on corporate letterhead, huh? Every night I dream of the forest. The hiss of their screams burns my ears. Bro, this shit, this company's going down. The amount of liability they're taking from the letterhead alone here. I mean, it's going to sink this mill. For a lot, a lot of good people work here, man. Yeah, one murderer, but a lot of good people. Just inconsiderate. You couldn't just buy, like, a legal pad or something? Frank Stone was heavily influenced by someone who made him believe his crimes were a righteous act. This is a jump scare. I was oh ready. Oh, God, this... This place is so fucking... Why, why are you going deeper? Well, I guess I'm the one playing with the controllers, so... This is... This is awful. Isn't Dwight Parker from Dead by Daylight? Is he the, the guy with the... the dress shirt and the tie? If you ever read this letter, tell Rusty I'm not mad at him. It was my fault. Same as always. Just know I'm sorry. Alright. I thought he was from the office. Michael! She's gonna be like, sorry, I haven't eaten today. And then I'm gonna be like, you should have like a like a breakfast or something. And she's gonna be like, no, I don't think that's my problem. What is I have like a headache and my this? tummy hurts a little it's bit. Okay. It's okay. You're not Bonnie? No, I um Bonnie was my mom. Did you know her? Your mom is Your so... Mom? But that's... How is that possible? You're talking about Bonnie Rivera, right? Yes, yeah, she was... She was just here, but we, we, we were... Ugh. My mom died a few weeks ago. No. No, 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 no. We were in the mill. We were just shooting. We just finished the movie. What the hell? Put me back in the damn tube, man. Take me back to 1980. Oh my god, there's this thing. It's, it's, it's trying to kill me. What's going on here? Who the fuck is she? After I lost you, I, I found this place and she was just here. How'd you get here? Not really. Like, she was in the tube, man. That's true. If she couldn't find milk at the drugstore in 1980, wait till she goes to a grocery store now. Holy. They're going to be like, what kind of milk? She's going to be like, a um, milk? They're going to be like, oat milk, almond milk, cashew milk. It's actually mostly all still refrigerated, to be honest. Some of it's shelf stable, though. Yeah, and your, the quarter in your sock doesn't mean shit. <laughs> You can't you can't buy shit for that anymore. Even the vending machines are like a toonie. Are you stupid? Why would you get in? You just look at this machine. The vibes are way off, man. It has teeth. <laughs> 
You picked it? Well, there was like afraid. I don't want to get in. And then, oh, whatever. Maddie helped you use the sarcophagus. I didn't want her to go out like a bitch. I didn't want to say like, oh, I'm scared. I wanted her to have some like pride in it. I didn't realize the question was like, should I get in the machine? But that might be on me. I is probably better, man. Like she's back in her current time, hopefully. Hopefully she's not smoking a blunt with a pterodactyl right now because that's going to fuck up the timeline like in ways that are incalculable given the number of alternate paths resulting from the butterfly effect or whatever. Plus, like, the supervillain is now in our time, which means we can kill them with Sam's gun, right? This is gonna be, like, the worst 60 seconds of anyone's life ever, though, because she's gonna come back now, and she's gonna see that her boyfriend has been, like, quadrisected by a ghost. Back to the past! <laughs> Got the damn flies and everything. He's not breathing. His shoes are on. Fuck. He's okay. Oh, man. Didn't you get him killed? I don't know. I think the story got him killed. Because I was trying not to give Christine the ick towards Jaime. Because she was getting sucked into the time machine. And then she was like, Jaime, help me. And if he was just like, um, I gotta check my phone. Like, I think that she would have lost respect. So I said, help. And then a suit, there was a scripted death after I, I said I would help. But he held his frame all the way through. Although it might give her the ick that he got stabbed in the stomach by a knife and his body fell apart in like eight pieces like Drax versus uh, Thanos when Thanos got the Mind Stone from the Collector. Awkward. <laughs> Sorry, that was the reality stone. My bad. <laughs> the mind stone is in Vision's forehead. <laughs> it took me some other place. No, no, I, I wasn't even here, man. It, it took me to like some other place, and, and like there were these crazy machines and, and lights, but I don't think it was anywhere in the middle at all. Uh, you what? I know it sounds and you were there and you were there Bonnie was her mom man you're not making any sense that's gonna be me when Toy Story 7 Bonnie. comes out whoa oh hey hey it's, it's okay it's okay we're all gonna die here there's no way to escape I'm so sorry oh god Bonnie I'm so sorry He's, he's me, hermanito, and he's gone. Are, are you? Wait, 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 wait. I got an idea. Let's get all the king's horses and all the king's men and... I'm not. Maybe they I could know. put Jaime the back together again. This is if we can just keep it together. Did you hear that Hector they farmed a 13-minute Gleipner on Weaver? Looks boring. <laughs> Still, can't judge a book by its cover. It's the kind of flat screen people get, and then they just watch, like, Doctor Who. Need to understand. Why should I? I don't even know you. Linda! <laughs> I'm so glad you're okay. You're not gonna believe what happened. I found this totally crazy room, and this girl just came out of nowhere. Maddie, listen. This is not the Sam Green I knew from Cedar Hills. Are you listening to me? He's an imposter. We cannot trust Oh, him. dude, now oh. we're talking! Time, distance, and a great deal more than you could know are between us. But whoever I am to you, you can trust me. You have to. Give me one good reason. You've seen Augustine's archive. She's not just collecting every piece. I of saw. Film I film. saw Stan Vent in Edmund. Piece of that film that could have ever potentially. And existed. he took nine seconds to do the wires me? puzzle. It usually only takes three point six seconds. I don't know if I would have said this an hour ago, but after what I just experienced, Admin doesn't I think have Sam events. Might be right. Augustine's lying to us. Caught, caught. Whatever she's up to here, it's way, way over our heads. 
You should have seen this chamber and the girl. All right, let's vent this Augustine, guy. But I trust this man. Let's vent this guy with democracy. At least whoever Augustine is, she's not pretending to be someone from your past. Who plays the city shitty games that suck ass? Right out of the frying pan. I don't like any of what's going on anymore. I think we should just get the fuck out. Before you leave, I want to show you the home video of my trip to Nashville. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it is. You got your piece of the film strip? Yeah. All right, let me see it. Maddie? I need to see the actual film. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't what? give it to him. Even though Where I would support... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh-oh. A mere sleight of hand? No, 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 no. It was right here. It, it was right in here. You just got blamed. Oh! <laughs> so, uh, show it to me. Show me what you took from my son. I can't do that. You can't do that? I kind of, sort of... Might have already made a deal with Augustine. It was before anybody else got here. I just went ahead. At least he actually got paid for it. You didn't know. How could you know? How could he know he's just selling a piece of a movie? What a fucking whack job Augustine would turn out to be. I would have asked for at least double. And then I would have said no, thank you, and hightailed it right out of here, hand over heart. I was four fucking to seconds. It took you four fucking down. seconds to sell your piece of the film strip. You get what you wanted. Can you guys stop talking during the damn movie? Game? I'm trying to watch Murder Mill here. She's had all the pieces of the film this whole time. Why does she keep us here? She's gonna pop out and be like, "Oh, you guys could have left like an hour and a half ago." But for some reason, you just kept going deeper and deeper into the, into the bowels of the house. Like, you could have just come out the way you went in. Now, for some reason, you solved the puzzle, went into my damn reliquary, which was locked for a reason. Then you got into the fucking walls. <laughs> I don't need you guys anymore. You could have saved yourself. Let's split up. Damn, bike messengers. I ain't afraid of no fucking ghosts. <laughs> He's one tapped. Let the fucking do something. Reload. Switch to your sidearm. You're filming the wrong thing. Oh, you're not supposed to struggle on the hook. That's a classic rookie mistake. Damn studio meddling in my cut. Bonnie was supposed to have a 90 minute conversation with Frank Stone and convince him with facts and logic of the error of his ways. As you can see, I'm British. Hmm. Back here. Back at it again. Damn, Samuel. At it again with the murder mill. 
<laughs> All the bits. <laughs> what are those? They did surgery on a grape? Dedicated wham? You know what I'm talking about, people? He's corner peeking. Linda. Where am I? FOV on the damn thing don't make no sense. He don't run out of the Super 8 film potion or nothing. So true, 97-year-old sheriff still fights evil the old-fashioned way. Dude, we did like a quiz on YouTube Kids last night with our daughter. It was like they'd show an image of a character from a media property and you had like five seconds to name it. When the fuck did my three-year-old learn the name of all the characters from the Trolls movies? We haven't even seen any of the Trolls movies. Some troll pops up on the screen. Me and Kate go, ah, uh, I don't know. My daughter goes, that's Bridget. I was like, who the, the hell is Bridget, man? <laughs> then I'm reading the Trolls book last night, and they made too many cupcakes. How did they solve it? They invited Bridget. She's the troll with the big appetite. Bridget ate enough of the cupcakes that they could, you know, get rid of the traffic snarl that got caused by there being too many cupcakes around. Bridget, we love her. Bridget and Poppy. Poppy. I don't really know Poppy's thing. I think it's maybe Anna Kendrick plays Poppy. I believe Justin Timberlake plays Branch. I learned that last night as well. Biggie's in it. Not the notorious one. Commonplace Stonekeeper. That's damn true. You think knowledge is power, Migo? There's a lot at stake here. Your friends, your father, Michi. She's curious, Migo. And you know what they say. Curiosity killed the yak. This is why we need yellow paint? Well, listen, like, I don't want to be this guy necessarily, but the game is basically like a hallway. It's not like they filmed the game in this house, right? They could have just, considering that it's an FMV adventure game, essentially, they pretty much could have just built, like, the hallway to not have so many dead ends and stuff. I know that would have, like, made the game slightly shorter or something, but... Being lost is scary. Not when you're used to it. You escaped from Frank Stone in the storm drain? That was Frank Stone?! He's got no moves, dude! He's a creep! And not even the ranged creep, he's just like a regular melee creep! Oh, shit. <laughs> what happened? Uh, I ate dinner with no YouTube. QTEs. QTEs incoming. Stay back, son. I got him right where I want him. They were crazy for this one, man. <laughs> What's happening? Moving magic. What? Forget it. 
Fuck me for trying to lighten up the situation, I guess. Serious ass. You're in the shot! Chris, you're in the shot! I see, so, but we've unwittingly become part of stop it? Augustine's machinations because now we've trapped it, Frank Stone's spirit over? inside of the film reel. Which means now it's being played at the mansion. He's about to be on, uh, released. Don't worry, he can't get out. They turned me into a camera, Morty. Morty, they turned me into a camera. Sorry, I didn't. I just didn't have anything. I'm Camera Frank. They're calling it the worst movie ever made, Murder Mill. Can you believe three real teenagers died for this piece of shit? I'd like to like accuse Augustine. I don't really know what's up with Stan, but he's at worst like a useful idiot. You, on the other hand, I don't really know what's up with you. Except you you're, your you're English. What more do you want? Oh you, shit! You lied to me, I guys. He's no coming through thing. the damn screen. Oh, hell, you didn't. You promised me. It is no fault of mine if you misinterpret it. Frank Stone coming out of the screen. Yes, Mom yes. Frank Stone when he realizes everybody's got 17 devices in their pocket that all have video cameras on them. You got a hell of a lot to answer for and a lot of hell to pay. This dude's about to get his shit rocked. Help. Help me. That's just the problem. I'm just not sure there's anything I can really do about that one. I could press square a couple times, I guess. This is like, fine. My arm hurts anyway. I had a hard workout yesterday. Alright, how are we feeling about... I'll sacrifice myself for Linda, I guess. I don't know, Linda's like a more... Oh, sacrifice... Oh, you're old! The old guy's gonna sacrifice himself. That's a- it's a victimless crime. He's completing the cycle. They really said fuck Sam, huh? Muncha? All right, what's your plan now, Augustine? No, no. <laughs> this <is> Vecta. <laughs> She's caught, caught, got caught trolling. Is you're on the wrong mic, Frank. Frank, you're on the webcam mic. Frank, you the Counter Strike 2 takes control of your audio device and cranks it up to 100. Take a video of him with your phone camera. You don't have, even have to wind it or anything, man. He's ulting. He's, he doesn't have like a sense of urgency or anything, huh? Wait, 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 wait. Uh, it's, it's the red herring. It's not gonna stop him.
Please don't let my last words be all crap. I tried. I tried everything I could to keep him, uh, to keep him alive. Yes, dude. Yes, this is what it's all about. Right? Okay, this is what it's all about. Hold. Lock in, man. Oh, that's a big one. Close. Oh! <laughs> He's done it. With the G-Shock and everything. That's why you dial in. As a 35-year-old man, I can lock in once per day. Use it wisely. Fix the elevator? Guess we're gonna find out. That's my diesel-powered elevator. What the fuck do I know? Maybe they're all diesel-powered. I don't know anything. I'm just being smug for no reason. I do think you'll die if you go into that room, though. It's a lot of carbon monoxide being spat out there. It was unlocked, bro. You ever hear of knocking? Let's help Maddie. Why not? She's she's a nice girl. A little Stay millennial. Her, you son of a bitch. She she can't die. She went Ripley mode. Sam? Oh, something I eat ain't agreeing with me. Go. All distracted. What? what? Just get in the elevator, lady. She fumbled the bag, man. It's a legendary bag fumble. Oh, well, maybe she was smart. Now I'm back in the damn time machine. <laughs> Just throwing for content. <laughs> Madison, I'm so glad we're finally able to talk one on one. Fuck are you? What have you? Can you do shot us? Like I don't get it. A regrettably unavoidable series of misfortunes. I don't expect you to understand everything at play here, but. Suffice it to say, one cannot make a proverbial omelet without breaking the proverbial eggs. Eggs? We're not fucking eggs. You you lied. You cheated, manipulated, and, and now there's some kind of horrible mm, problematic. Gen Z's trying to cancel lied. Augustine. Give me a mm. fucking break, lady. I can make your nightmares go away. I will make them go away. All this pain. All this trauma. All you gotta do is let the monster eat you. You just need to tell me you want me to. Go frick yourself. Get away Why from her, you, you bitch. Go fuck yourself. And I'm so very With the sorry. vocal fry and everything? No, you're not. She did say go frick yourself, lady. All right, back to Frank Stone's floor. Say what you will about Frank Stone. He knows how to make an entrance. Me and my first drum practice. <laughs> paradiddle, 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 paradiddle. bet sex music it's kind of a like anticlimactic cut I guess you can't go outside he's too tall <laughs> Frank Stone is finally the man he was meant to be my champion a killer worthy of the entity the bleed between worlds is open split apart by sacrifice and violence 
all will be swallowed by the entity's power. But he can't leave the house. Me, the one who served up this world for it to devour. I'll oblige as its faithful servant, existing only to drink in its knowledge, share in its glory. I am Augustine Lieber, and I have brought the entity to your world. Yeah. The entity known as Frank Stone. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe she actually accomplished something. This is looking pretty bad. <laughs> like, that, that seems worse than Frank Stone. That's Vecna, man. If you don't like the weather, wait ten minutes. Of sublime perfection. Almost unbearably so. Mom, do you have some pizza rolls? I bear to you the offerings. I humbly await my reward for loyal service, unending. He's ending. She's one tapped. Augustine be like, yeah, I was dissolved into the hell dimension, but I was the first person dissolved into the hell dimension. Isn't that worth something? Augustine's in the all chat right now. GG, you really had to play the most overpowered killer. Wow, and you hook camped in everything? Wow, really fun game. Why don't you get a life? This is a QTE waiting to happen. I just can't with this cromulent fuck crustable of a day. Between Frank Stone, my ex psychiatric physician, the crypto bro from hell, <laughs> Maddie Needy Drinky. It's an interesting location for a drugstore. It's not really there. Are we sure this is a good idea? This is the only way we know for certain. And we have to know. It's in there, all right. What do we do with it? We, uh... We separate it. We each take a piece. Then we take them as far away from each other as we possibly can, and we never, never let them come back together again. I hate the cinema sins. I really do. <laughs> Why don't they just, like, explode it? Or, like, flush it down the toilet or something? Or, like, can't, can't you just put a magnet up to it or something? Or light it on fire? Or <laughs> feed it to, like, a, a dog or something? Like... That can't be our only option. I can't believe I'm actually suggesting Yeah, this, tape an episode of Everybody Loves Raymond over it or something. If this film strip really is holding him, Somehow, destroying it completely might just set him free. You don't know that. I don't want to take that chance. Do you? 
We can't Deborah. let it happen. Else. <laughs> Instead of Frank Stone, it's uh Robert Barone. Ma! Don't talk to her like don't talk to your mother like that. You talk to her like that. Of course, she's not my mother. Four fucking Linda mains? Not all of us. Sam Green, he, he was just trying to help and he's... Now he's... He paid a heavy price. More than we'll ever know. What did happen to Augustine? I saw her on my way out. And? She had something she wanted to say, but it wasn't worth hearing. Based? Who are they? They're noobs, be nice. They were here long before I came. I don't are you like speaking of riddles now? Did I miss something? Going. Come on. Go where? Wait, why haven't you kept going? Why are you just sitting here? <laughs> It would be actually sick if they made you like win a game of Dead by Daylight to get out of the the game. Wait, almost here. We have to run. Wait. Are you crazy? I've been queuing for eleven minutes. It's coming after us. It's been waiting. Just like we all have. Nobody wants to play killer these For days. What? Survivors are OP. For you. Now we can begin. The fucking evil spirits have conspired to make us fix generators and play hide and seek. <laughs> what are you talking about, dude? Or surviving. The entity will play with our souls for all eternity. No, An man. Hunt of fear and hope, pain and sacrifice, from which even death is no escape. And now, let the trial begin. <laughs> it's the sound. Casting of Frank Stone from the world of Dead by Daylight. I really do hate to critique it from a plot hole perspective. I would have loved this scene though, where maybe like the crypto bro tries to film Frank Stone on his iPhone and he just goes like that shit don't work on me or something like that. I told you, it has to be Super 8. I think where it kind of, I don't know. Like, they're always, the Super Giant games have been hit or miss over the past couple of years at least. But, like, they're always fun to play, even when the writing's, like, a little off. But this one, it kind of lost me a little bit when the kids are trying to go to the, they're obsessed with going to the Frank Stone's murder room. And then, like, they go to the murder room and they're like, what the fuck? People died here. We got to get out. Like, I, I feel like there's an expectation that people in horror movies are going to make like dumb decisions. And that's part of what keeps things like moving. But that's like a bridge too far, I think, for me. Not, not their best. Not their best. Cinema? A little bit. <laughs> Hey, Hockey for Life 74, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. Little Hope is still almost like more insulting to me because they, the plot, from my perspective at least, was kind of like incomprehensible for the whole thing. And then at the end, they're like, don't worry about it. It was all like a dream anyway, essentially. 
Nah, it's okay. I wish him the best. <laughs> I just like, there's a, I, they can't get me to take Dead by Daylight seriously. I also like, I, again, I thought Linda and I were like on the level, but then like at the end of it, she's not talking to me like a human being. She's talking to me like she's been possessed by a demon. That's like the only thing in the world that matters is hide and seek. Like, couldn't, couldn't she have also been, I don't know what the fuck is going on, and then, like, somebody else is like, you've been cursed to play hide-and-seek forever or something? Like, I, I thought we were cool. I picked you up when you were hitchhiking. What's Augustine's motivation? I think she just, you know... She's like, um... A supplicant, in Blade terms. She just wanted to be the main character. She was bored? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> post credit scene that introduces their next game, please. Hang on, I got I forgot the crystals. <laughs> it is very like Netflix dark for sure Use the cutting room floor to see your current path through the story. Plunderer's Instinct unlocked. You will be able to use Plunderer's Instinct when in close range to a collectible trinket. That would have been nice, actually. Is there a way I can see the choices, man, that people made? Am I the dumbest motherfucker who's ever played this? Oh, they, you can see the percentages. I always miss the... Oh, how am I... This is too big, man. <laughs> how am I... I can't make sense of this. Holy cow. Thirty-eight percent of people looked at the logbook. Sixty-two percent of people did something else. Ninety-four percent of people used the crowbar. Eighty-four percent of people trusted Tom. Holy cow! I turned off data sharing. Yeah, but I still want to see the data that other people have shared. I just don't want them to share my data. All right. Well, this is the casting of Frank Stone. They're gonna they're gonna get it back, man. They're gonna get it back. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, they're gonna make it back. They're gonna make. $500 million on the Until Dawn remake. And they're going to get it back. They're going to they're gonna recapture the magic. I guarantee it. They need one ex-Disney Channel star to be in the next one. They need a character that everybody likes instead of like four characters that most people find annoying. And they need to just not tie it to Dead by Daylight. And they're going to get it back, man. They're going to get it back. They need Raymond. Thank you. They need Ray. They need Ray Romano. Everybody likes Ray Romano. I would totally play a super massive. Everybody loves Raymond game. Insult your mother or say thank you for the leftovers that she brought you. Ma. <laughs> Deborah. Okay. Anyway, so I'm gonna go to the bathroom. <laughs> hey, Anel. I'm trying to quit caffeine. Any tips? For before tips, I have a question. I'm not trying to incept you into staying addicted to caffeine, but I am going to ask you why you're quitting. Did your doctor tell you to quit because you have like heart problems or blood pressure issues? Then you got to do it. Or are you just like bored? 
Because if you're bored, you could just like read a book or something. Being off of caffeine has been great for me. It's been pretty great for me to be like on it as well. I don't know, like I'm not trying I'm not I'm not trying to rep for caffeine. If you are not presently addicted to caffeine, you probably shouldn't start drinking coffee. If you're addicted to caffeine and you have like eight cups of coffee a day, you should probably have less. If you're having like one or two cups of coffee a day, I think you're probably I think you're ch I don't think you should worry about it so much. I think the stress is probably worse for you than the caffeine. Same with beer. Nah, as much as I hate to say it, you should probably just cut that out entirely. The, it takes more than it gives. The truth hurts, but it is a debuff. <laughs> it, it does also kind of kick ass. You're not wrong. It's a, it's a, it's a double-edged sword, man. It's a double-edged sword for sure. Do I need to worry about any of this shit if I'm 20? I don't know. Like, if you're 20, you should just really... I mean, I hate to say it. I'm not trying to insult anybody. If you're 20, your goal should be like, don't get addicted to League of Legends. If you can do that, the dividends that that will pay by the time you're my age will be fucking insane, man. You ever meet like a 35-year-old who has like seven hobbies? The only difference between them and you? League of Legends. Nine years of League of Legends addictions in your 20s. If you cut out that time, you could, you could play two recreational sports, go to board game night, take up like ballroom dancing or something like that. You, you can save yourself. Don't get it twisted. Bald guy at my board game night only wants to play Sushi Go. Oh shit, you play at The Connection? I'm just joking. I haven't been into like a board game night in a long time. Also, stop watching Twitch Brain Rot content. Yeah, but not mine, because occasionally I have, like, philosophical lessons or something. I will say, if you've ever posted more than three comments about me needing to buy a new computer, you probably do need to touch some grass. You're getting too into the meta. Like, whenever I, <laughs> I go... <laughs> Chivley, I, are you here? I, I need your, like... Uh, consent to go on this bit but just your existence here i'm going to take that as like a plus two the the thing the mo closest i get to telling people to touch grass is when like i'm streaming and then someone doesn't even intro their message with any context they just like reference another stream as if it's a 100 percent chance that i saw it and if it wasn't a kaisa not stream i'm not going to know what it is People will be like, hey, have you ever... <laughs> hey, NL, what are your thoughts on this thing that happened at 7.03 a.m. on Dan's stream four days ago? And I'm like, buddy, I don't know. I was pouring a bowl of Fruit Loops. I'm like, you don't have like any other... Like when I go offline, you're just watching other streams. You aren't booting up like Turner Classic Movies or like walking in the park or hooping or anything. You're just going straight to another stream. Like that's kind of insulting to me because I thought I was built different. But it turns out that like when I'm not live, you're just watching somebody else. You're not pursuing fulfillment in other avenues of your life. Welcome to being an NL friend. I bet it, well, just know I don't, I don't plus two those individuals, Chibli. If you go live, you've been live for three minutes and you're sipping a coffee and someone's like, what do you think about NL's setup being in mono? I know that you politely have to be like, it's so funny, but like you maybe a little bit resent that being like the first comment that you read from chat. Don't worry, I'm not, I'm not covering anything. It's just the controls. Did you see the Rizzler drama? No, man. I didn't want, I told you I didn't want to talk about it when I was live because I can't be held responsible for my emotions when this kind of stuff comes up. I did think of a great bit though. I don't, Enbird, are you here? This is not something I need for me, but it, maybe you would tell me if this has legs, okay? Because it combines two of your interests. What about the Costco guys reading weapon names in uh, Dark Souls or in Elden Ring? The Dragon Hunter's Great Flayer Scythe. Something like that. I think it could work, man. We're Elden Ring guys, of course we farm Silver Knights for the Black Knight Great Halberd. I think it could, people are loving it, man. I had no idea. Turn around, back it up, put it on, move it up. You're toast. You were out. You've been out since the day you were born. 
double strike. See, you see what I'm saying? You can see how it would work, right? A double strike plus four cooldown. Anyway, this is uh, Shogun Showdown. I think you will catch me playing this again. The sponsorship was only for an hour, but uh, an obsession, <laughs> an obsession can last a lifetime. It's available now on Steam. It's 10% off for its opening week sale. It came out in version 1.0 yesterday. It's a roguelite strategy deck builder, kind of like Into the Breach meets Slay the Spire. Um, and it's got overwhelmingly positive reviews. What else, what else do you need, man? All you need is an exclamation point Shogun. So you can get a link to check it out for yourself. Or if you're watching on YouTube, check the link in the video description. Thanks for watching and thank you to Goblin Studio for the sponsorship. Slash marker Shogun Showdown. What up? What's up? Damn, Patrick Mahomes got the reps in his back pocket again. What else is new? Script NFL oh, well. script leaked. Hi. Maybe Lamar Jackson should hit Zay Flowers. It was wide open in the end zone. That was one pass. I mean, we're talking. I'm talking about a systematic issue of corruption with the referees. What about when he uh, missed his tight end, who was also wide open in the end zone? Isaiah likely on the play before. I just like you can tell it's the greatest sport on earth because <laughs> after like a killer touchdown was scored with zero seconds left in the game, they played a replay uh, a thousand times from ten thousand different angles, and his one atom of his big toe <laughs> was touching the white paint instead of the green grass. So they said, "Sorry, that that play that you cheered for actually wasn't good at all. He was six picometers over the line. The game just ends." I mean, yeah, you got to know where your feet are, bro. I'd like to see you catch that pass. <laughs> oh, I'm going to make a little room. I'm just saying, man, like, I, I hate Kansas City as much as uh, every other person on the planet who's not from Kansas City, but Baltimore kind of asked that game. It shouldn't have been close. I didn't know Baltimore was going to field a, uh, a couple of uh, wooden dummies as their offensive line. They still clear your it's, ass in the AFC. It, it's interesting strategy is all I'm saying, you know? Why was Mark Andrews on the sideline, man? I don't know. I mean, Lamar had maybe about three microseconds to throw the ball every play, so it wasn't like he was going to throw to him anyway. They, were, they started his ass at left tackle, man. Look, the Ravens are going to need someone else other than Lamar Jackson to win a football game. So are you going to be on the podcast now, Ryan? I don't know. I only saw like in football. I'm going to punch my ticket. <laughs> <laughs> I saw like 45 seconds of the game. It was the last 45 seconds, which was like the worst 45 seconds. You just talked about it for longer than 45 seconds. <laughs> I guess that's like football. Yeah, never mind. I'm a certified certified yapper, man. It's pretty much football. It's just like yeah. you guys are lucky that the U.S. Open's almost over. Have you seen the insane run that Jesse Pegula's on right now? <laughs> It sounds like a fucking oh what man, was it? A Pegula. Is it Pegula? Oh, Jesse Pegula? Jesse Pegula, yeah. Like Dracula who gets fucked, yeah. Yeah, but she's a <laughs> girl, so she does the fucking. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Can I tell you how bad my brain just broke? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have some mac and cheese here, um, and I and I was op I opened the the plastic utensil bag to take a utensil out and eat my mac and cheese with it. I opened it and just threw it away. <laughs> I didn't even grab the fork. I just threw it around. I don't know what's wrong with me. That's a that classic. That is sick. That is sick. Now, the only thing you need to do now is, like, go to DoorDash, support, and then say, like, they didn't include <laughs> utensils. Yep. Oh, no. That's, like, the time I complained about not getting my beef balls in my pho, but they were under all the veg. Dude, I did that once, and they gave me, like, a refund. Yeah, I was, me too. I, I felt, was like, I this isn't so the bad. shit I ordered. And then I went back to the order and I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was me was, that ordered this stuff. It was like under everything. And I saw like no beef balls. I was like, they, they fucking skipped my beef balls. And I was like, oh, no, they're there. Oh, no. I tried like sending them a message to be like, no, no, no. Just charge me again. Don't refund me. I fucked it's up. It's too late. Yeah. Can I start an anecdote? Can I, can I be an yeah, anecdote Yeah, please, please. Go for it. The anecdote. It's probably pretty chill to have, like, a normal job that you don't hate. Because, like, I had, to, I had to have a glass guy show up because I have a broken window. Mm -hmm. A glass guy. And his guy. ass, 
He's a guy who makes glass, man. Yeah. Um, well, I don't know if he's the one that makes the glass, but he just showed <laughs> up with like a tape measure and a, and a clipboard and was like, okay, uh, the, I'm going to measure these windows and then they'll uh, uh, mail you a quote or call you and get, tell you the quote. And that was all he did. That was his whole job, measuring a couple of windows. And I'm like, that must be kind of chill, you know? Yeah, I guess he signs off for the day after that one. It's <laughs> 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 like, and then job day's done. work is done. <laughs> I think that job might be kind of sick, though, because I'm sure it's like 10% measuring and then like 90% listening to like the radio in your truck. Yeah. Probably screaming at other drivers. Yeah. Well, it's also but, like nice when it's someone like me who just, you know, is the most non confrontative person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's like, okay, cool. Yeah. Sick. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Bye. A million dollars? Sure. Here you go. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're not dealing with someone who's like, well, oh, did you measure it right, though? Like, can you check it one more time? Um, you got to make sure it's double pane glass. Also, like, we don't want any of those coatings. Window. I think, like, a lot of those jobs go the opposite way, though. Because, like, our washer was leaking. So we had one guy come and give us, like, a quote. And then he went on vacation. And then another dude, like, picked up the file. And I that guy was hating every second of his fucking life. <laughs> like, he was there, like... Under the washing machine, like, what the fuck did the other guy do? What did he say the problem was? And we were like, I don't know. He just said there was, like, missing a part. And then he was, like, trying to reverse engineer what went wrong. And he was very frustrated. Yeah, yeah when, we had, when we had a leak in our apartment and we had to get our floor replaced, like, we had three different guys come into our apartment to sort out the new flooring. Because you had, like, one guy. the first time. One guy doing the <laughs> doing the uh, one guy doing the laminate floors, another guy doing the the vinyl floor in the kitchen. Okay. And another yeah, guy, yeah. another guy purely brought in to do the trim, mm -hmm. who has never done trim. Oh, it's like a, he's an apprentice or something. <laughs> he's just alone. They're like Pokemon types. I guess. <laughs> But like, so he was like bothering the, uh, the, the the real professional guy who's like doing the, the laminate flooring. And then like, he's like, I don't know how to use a miter saw. And the guy's like, well, I'm not here to teach you how to do your job. Like, what the fuck is going on? And then that guy was complaining to me. And then he was like, he was real cool. And then he was like, yeah, but COVID's not real. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Was this I'm like in 2021 back. or was it this like... This was like, like, yeah, it was like... Okay. Eight. It's got to suck to be like the, the yard guy though. Because like window guy came over and he just like, he seemed like he had a great time. It was really easy. I had to call a guy to fix my irrigation system. Oh man. And bro had to like dig like a whole... He, he Minecraft blocked my yard and took like a square of the dirt out with the grass <laughs> on top. And I was like, this guy's going through. It's like 100 degrees out right now, man. That's rough. Who you got tonight, Ryan? Who's playing? Packers Eagles in Brazil. First ever Brazil game. Right, you know. Who's I'm Packers QB now? Answer. Jordan Love. All right, I gotta go Eagles on that one. Wow, well, doesn't believe in Jordan Love? That's crazy. Well, well I mean, Jalen Hurts. He's a regular well, season merchant, and this is week one, so he's in his bag well, right now. They're our first half of the regular season merchant. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't mode, oh, don't mode. I'm not, I'm beefing with that guy. He threw up on my floor today. Yeah. You gotta throw up on his floor now. He he doesn't have a floor. I guess I could take a dump in his litter box. <laughs> Let's get in that bag. Yes. What one hand on your ass cheek? Listen. <laughs> Did you enjoy the uh, Minecraft movie trailer, Ryan? That, uh, it looks like possibly the biggest piece of shit that's ever been it made. Look really bad. But it also, looks horrible. It's for children, no? Yeah. So, yeah. The, I mean, it's just the trailer. The Mario movie trailer didn't look great, but it wasn't like an insult. Yeah. But like, the Mario movie was incredibly watchable, which is the most yep. I'll give to it. Jack Black popping out of the portal and then saying, like, I'm my Steve. name is Steve. Yeah, like that <laughs> was giving like YouTube oh, yeah, rewind sucks, energy. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. literally like the meme is where he's like, oh, and then he Minecrafted all over everyone. Like, it's just that, <laughs> but he actually like, said it. I don't like. It does look terrible. 
But I don't I like that the was art design. As, like my immediate next thought was like, well, it's for fucking babies. Yeah, but it like, is. I mean, if someone walked up and said, "Here's a pile of shit," oh, don't worry, it's for babies. You wouldn't feed it to your kids, you know? I don't have kids, so I don't give a fuck. Okay. Let's see Borderlands. Yeah, my kids watching Borderlands. <laughs> Borderlands <laughs> in the in the tar. Oh. That's where it belongs. He's La Brea posting? That, dude, that movie sucked so much. I can't believe you watched it. That's like insane. I had to. <laughs> Borderlands. <laughs> oh, God. Why'd you watch it? It was on, it was on my Plex. So what the Officer. <laughs> Officer. You had to watch it? <laughs> well, I was like, I wanted to because I, I want to I wanna see how bad it could be. You oh, know? my God. It's bad. You couldn't pay me to watch that. That's bullshit. Yeah, it is. You can pay me like <laughs> I would watch it for $500. I'll watch it. I was going to say like 50 bucks, I would watch it. Uh, 50 No, I would not. Not tonight. I got you. Am I, am I being too much of a hater if I'm saying that like all recent media in the last like five years, basically since COVID, has just been fucking awful? Like collectively? I think I that. You can go like so much further back. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like especially the last like four or five years though. Like more it's than It's been normal. pretty bad. I do think there's a case to be made that cinema's in like a weird place. Cause like when Marvel was on, you're like, yeah, it's kind of like samey, but at least they're on. But now that they're off, you're like, wow, this is as bad as every other piece of dreck that's coming out. I just feel like even when there's something good, like you still have to wait like nine years to like have it be done. Cause I went to the Spider-Man movie and that movie was great. But then at the end they were like, um, haha, this is half the movie. Come back oh, in two yeah, years, yeah, idiot. Yeah. Oh, and is I'm that like, uh, like the, the, the across the Spider Verse or into yeah, the, sp the, the the second the Spider Verse? One? Yeah. It's a great movie that just ends halfway through and they go eat shit, loser, come back later. No, you should watch The Matrix. It's on Netflix right now, at least yeah. in Canada. Yeah. The thing is, it's you so think rocking. it's you think it's the year nineteen ninety nine, but actually it's closer to the year twenty one ninety nine. Sorry, I'm spoiling it. I forgot you haven't seen it. <laughs> I think the last really, really good movie I saw was Everything Everywhere, and that was like two fucking years ago now or something, man. Brother, Everything Everywhere. You, sh you should watch Master and Camilla, really? The Far Side of the World. <laughs> Is that from like 2000? This is from 2003. Where... Oceans are now battlefields, brother. Hop in. Is that one where he goes, Spice? Mm, I think you're thinking of Dune. <laughs> I think I'm thinking right, of yeah. a video game, actually. Oh, is that the video game yeah. where he goes, I'm going to the place where the, oh, that hasn't been tainted by communism? Spy! Oh, that's Command and Conquer uh, oh, Red Alert 3. <laughs> <laughs> you can see how I got confused. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I'm also potentially washed. Oh, this motherfucker. Sorry. <laughs> Did I do that? <laughs> Mode. Urkel Grease. <laughs> he gives off Urkel all energy, hits, honestly. Man. man, I was such a fuck. Yo, old TGIF, that shit was so good. Family Matters, Step by Step. Those are the only two I can remember. Full House. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Boy Meets World. Or am I thinking of Must See TV? America's yeah. Funniest Home Videos. I don't think that was part of TGIF either. What kind of TV? The Steve Allen show. What's my line? <laughs> Full Allen House TV. absolutely was. I know boys. Nope. Boy meets world. <laughs> boys oh, meet world. Boys I know boys. World. <laughs> I know boys. Boys meet world. I thought they took yeah. that place down. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I got it. I'm oh, fucking. I'm writing that down. That's a stream title. Boys meet world. Damn. <laughs> I'm gonna pull that out when I just can't think of some shit. He's gonna day. pull out his boys meat world. <sighs> boys meat world. Perfect. Thank you. Guess who's gonna go get a monkey? It's my ass. Oh, you you're always up here. wanted oh, a he monkey. Die. I thought no one was over What's here. Up? Okay, R.L. Stein. What's up? What? What does that even mean? <laughs> that sounds like R.L. Stein Goosebumps title. Eat what? shit and die. Eat shit, <laughs> I thought you were. I didn't know you were the only motherfucker here. Die. I get it. I get it. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Goosebumps like, is kind of unhinged if you go back adult. and like look at some of it. Yeah, that shit rocks. Uh, he just he has some specific things he likes. Is all I'll say. Mm, mannequins. Yeah, puppets. Uh, did we read the same book? I still have fond memories of watching Legends of the Hidden Temple. My buddy Stockenborg and uh, 
fucking girl is swinging, you know, the rope swing over the, like the foam pit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. She's she's holding on to a bucket, some kind of a bucket artifact, like two rooms away from the end. Swings on the rope swing and just smashes into the wall. Bucket breaks, and she like kind of slid <laughs> down like a cartoon, like a bug. Yes, dude, that's <laughs> like straight out of MXC. It was so funny. Oh, they should have an MXC for kids, man. Like it's funny <laughs> enough watching full-grown adults like eat shit, but like imagine if they're like just six put them year on old. the adult courses. <laughs> <laughs> They go on that like pendulum swinging thing and just get knocked off into the mud. That'd be so funny. I mean, that's a genre of internet video. Those like swinging like foam bars oh, yeah. that they yeah. play with kids. It's so funny watching them just get smacked at like 20 miles an hour with that thing. Kids can take like a lot of punishment like that. They're for it. They're, like literally when they fall down, they just like fall three inches and then get back up. Yeah. When an adult falls down, that's like six feet. If you're lucky, yeah. Don't go true. up there. <laughs> I've gone up here. I, mean, he, I hate this kids, guy. Kids are also hey. like, they're just top heavy. It's they true. They lead with their head like all the time. Because you <laughs> like, do like, you're, when you're born, I don't think your head gets any bigger. Wait, let me think about that. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what, what the fuck did you say? Ryan, oh. I hate to tell you, your head got a lot bigger, bud. No, I had a huge head when I was a kid, too. <laughs> you still do? I got a big fucking Oh, that's head. right. Your eyes. Your eyes don't get any bigger. <laughs> don't your feet not get any? No, that's dog. That would be insane. Dude, I wear a size 12 <laughs> men's. I think your feet keep getting bigger. I Just popping out of that dog. thing with size 13. I feel like my feet are bigger than a baby. Yes. Yep, yeah. yep. I mean, they have baby shoe sizes. True. Mm. Never use. <laughs> they do not use them that much. Aw. Apparently, Legends of the Hidden Temple did get brought back about two, three years ago, and it got canceled after a single season. Had no idea. Probably because everybody who watched it originally was, like, at work. <laughs> yeah, true, true. I was oh, laughing, somebody uh, used bits in Dan's stream to play like a snippet of the DK rap through text-to-speech. Mm -hmm. And then Dan didn't know it was from Donkey Kong 64. And then they spent more bits to tell him that it was from Donkey Kong 64. I didn't have the heart to type that that man is literally 42 years old. Yeah. You're, <laughs> you're just flushing the money straight down the toilet. <laughs> I'm no blade. All right. Which way am I going? Taste my blade. You getting that Taste monkey? my blade away? I'm not even gonna bother with your monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I would like me on a date. This. Me on a date with Pegula. Uh, do I take a crown? I might as Please well keep uh, Jesse Pegula's name out of your mouth. <laughs> she beat Pegula. Iga Sviatek by hitting some Tim Wakefield knuckleballs on return of serve. Dang. Your ass is probably like, oh, Alcaraz is going to take it anyway. No, his ass got eliminated in the fucking third round, dummy. Can I hit you with uh, I don't know what, what my you're Pegula talking. impression? Yes. I mm -hmm. to fuck your ass. <laughs> is that good? Okay. Yeah. Pegula. Yeah. I mean, you did it. You did it. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I'm also going to stick with in my head that it's uh, a pegging vampire. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it's like... So did... Did his cock get blown off, or is it like a, like it's a female Wait, vampire? Because otherwise, it's not pegging. Well, why can't it? Be? It's not pegging if you have if you're using your penis to do it. But you could just wear. He's it. putting a big dick over his very little. Dick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's fucking sick, dude! Yeah, like yeah. a crowned dick. I never considered yeah, 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 that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you say it's implied? <laughs> Dick veneers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so good. At the doctor, they're like shaving my cock yeah. down to just like a little nub. <laughs> Getting a crap on my yeah, dick. Yeah, to get my temporary. Sick, dude. Oh, That's fucking. That. Oh, Look at this God. dungeon row, man. <laughs> oh, you I don't know, man. No. It's a pretty good one by Billy Joel standards. He's yeah, a good yeah. songwriter. It's a shame he's kind of a piece of shit. <laughs> he's, is he's he? Kind of 
That doesn't really bother me. I just don't think he's a good songwriter. I didn't know that. That's fair. I think in the in the in the, in the era of famous people being bad, he's yeah, he's not that bad. But <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, he's just a dickhead. I don't know. Someone said he, he loves dickhead. drunk well, driving. Okay. I, I've told the story before. <laughs> that is true. Well, so I've told the story before. I'll just tell the art because it's not my story, and I feel dirty telling it. But uh, <laughs> a buddy of mine essentially said something akin to that that got quoted in a magazine. Oh, Joel, uh, showed up to his place of business. What? Uh, which is a record store. He wasn't there, so Billy Joel left a note that just said, uh, Dear Anthony, fuck you. Uh, <laughs> dash, Billy Joel. Yeah, he left I mean, that's there. that's kind of that's fair, like though, the, huh? Wasn't that like the governor that went to that restaurant oh, that had the, the sign out front? <laughs> that's so funny. Hey, but it's like my favorite story that's not mine. It's kind of sick story. that he came to the store, though. Yeah, yeah. No. Like, he definitely <laughs> could have sent someone, but he was going the name of the record store old school. In, uh, in Long Island. He's like, you're going to criticize me for drunk driving? <laughs> I'm going to drive my ass drunk over here. Fuck you, man. Oh, I'm pretty sure he's got that note for Almost certainly. Oh, oh, man. I think if I met him, I would just call him Silly Joel just to see what would happen. <laughs> Dude, the video of him freaking out while he's playing the fucking keyboard. I haven't oh, seen it. God. Dude, you, it's an all you're talking fucking about. timer. You're going to love it. Holy what what happens? What is he? Uh, do, you, do you guarantee it? He's yelling about the. Uh, is he yelling about the mix? He's like in the middle of playing. Like he's in the middle of a piano song. He's doing his thing. And he'll just. Oh, fuck! What's he screaming? He's the like video Corey's... is titled "Billy Joel gets angry at security, knocks over his keyboard, and smashes his microphone stand." <laughs> That's the, the name of the video. <laughs> Real piano he, man he better, behavior. You better watch out. Yeah. I'm putting a movie. Ooh. I'm putting a movie out next week called that. It's no, so no. <laughs> <laughs> Crank on Justin's ass, he got so much. He says, he climbed it on me. Stop fighting in the audience! <laughs> yeah, I have to, I'm gonna have to go ahead. I mean, getting into a fight at a Billy Joel concert is nasty work. He's got no songs that should be hyping you up to that extent. I have a family member who was, was courted by Billy Joel, who is uh, 15 oh, no. years younger than him. <laughs> But this was a very long time ago when, when that was. Isn't that I even think. worse, though? Well, it depends <laughs> how long ago it was. It was like a 75 year old hit number. right now? <laughs> I'm not the no, ass. No, oh, the dragon, the absolutely dragon. Absolutely not. Because <laughs> if it was like like 20 years ago, then like that seems all right. But if it was like. It was definitely before I was born. How old are you? 31. We're out here. Gen Z is trying to cancel who? Billy Joel? Hmm? You know, I, th this, this family member I have has a lot of stories that surprise me because they also, at one point, uh, dated Chris Collinsworth. What the, the fuck? The NFL yeah, analyst, broadcaster. Yeah. Yeah. But it's crazy because he's in love with Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> uh, I'm just laughing. I don't know why it's funny. Someone done rode the meat clean off the thing. <laughs> what? You know, you know what I'm saying? Nope. <laughs> Chad knows what I'm saying. What the fuck are you talking about? It's like whenever a blue check on Twitter makes a post that's like, without Elon, I shudder to think of what the state of free speech would be. And then they've always post the, it's like a man's torso made of chocolate, but then the cock has been clean, snapped off. <laughs> it's, it's, someone, hell no, someone done rode the meat clean off the I thing. <laughs> I haven't seen that because I have definitely not interacted with any of that stuff. <laughs> That's, That's really not chocolate? I thought it was chocolate, and the joke was like oh, the no. bachelorette party just like ate the penis or something. But it's a real sex doll. <laughs> it's a sex doll. That's, that's even better. That's crazy. So someone really did party. ride the meat clean off the, the thing. Clean off that thing. Or have you ever seen uh, the the one where the dude is pumping up a tire, but instead of using his foot on the foot pump, he's using his butt, and it looks like he's riding. No. <laughs> that's that's another one that. There's another meat riding adjacent reaction image. Meat riding adjacent. That's good. That's good too. That's another video title. The the streets are saying it looks a lot like chocolate. They're forgiving me. 
Thank you, Streets. <laughs> I appreciate that. Oh, the queen. The queen of why, hearts. Why the, why the woman card have one less sword than all the man card? Sure. You know, I wouldn't ask questions you don't want to hear the answer to. <laughs> no, I want to hear oh the God. answer. Oh, uh, my check from uh, Tenant Media just cleared. It's because evolutionarily men are supposed to be hunters. I don't know. You guys <laughs> following that controversy? Yeah. It is. All right. No, I have not. Funny. I have not. It's so funny for the people who are like, I, what? I had no idea. I thought just like a benevolent person was giving me $100,000. <laughs> you know, same, same shit. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Tenant Media, thanks for the gifties. Thank you. <laughs> Dude, we got this huge. I I'm. I don't want you guys to clout shame me here on spiders. We got this yeah. huge spider outside of our bedroom window. I would say it's approximately. If I had to guess, two and a half inches, like in diameter, like leg, leg to leg. Not like the body's big too, but like it's not a two and a half inch body. Okay. Is it is it yellow? No, it's like brown and tan and white and a little black. Cool. It's, an, it's probably an orb weaver, but yeah. I was watching it yesterday because it was outside of our bedroom window. And it was just hanging out on the web. And then like another spider that I can only assume is like the husband would like go up the web, like up to our roof and then like grab something and then come down the web and then like with its little spider legs, they would like spar a little bit. Like it looked like they were fighting, but actually I think they were kind of like trading resources. And then he would like give the food to the spider woman and then he would climb back up the little way. He did it for like half an hour, dude. <laughs> the spider husband. <laughs> hmm. Julie yes, got me this... fucked up thinking there's like a, like the simulation is real, dude. He, he showed up and we were talking. He was like, I want to see a scorpion. And I'm like, I don't think we have scorpions here, or at least not like a lot. So usually they're in like the deserty areas, right? And then? Like two days later, a little baby scorpion out the back porch. Just chilling. I'd never seen one in my life. It that is kind of crazy, actually. That's crazy. I took a little Chibli picture. went out and bought a scorpion and brought it back. And like, <laughs> go out yeah. back. <laughs> we could really use a man like Herbert Hoover again or whatever. The vacuum? Hmm. <laughs> that's, that's Dyson. What? <laughs> Why do they call the them movers in the UK? I don't know. Why do they call the trunk a boot? So true. We, we're the ones who say a boot. Hey! Oh my god. It all makes sense. I remember when we were in London, we got into a London taxi and we tried to put our suitcase in the trunk and the driver freaked the fuck out. Really? He was going like, no, 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 no. Nothing in London cabs, nothing goes in the boot. And I was like, really? brother, I don't know what the hell you're talking about, man. I can't what remember. Want it? I don't know, man. I'm not sure what we're supposed to do with it. Fucking lap, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On the roof? What do they call a roof? Like uh, the, the Dobby or something? <laughs> I'm used to here. I always fucking I hate when I'm getting into a whatever, a car for fucking anything, and they're very insistent on carrying my bag to their trunk. Yeah. For my things, I'm like, no, let me just just show me where it goes, because you're gonna stumble with it. Oh really? I thought it was like because you're, like, I ungrateful. Just, I'm, I mean, I'm also not. I'm not. A Listen, fuck. I do not trust you to <laughs> carry my bag full of glass dildos. That's okay. Not even so much that. It's just weird. I don't know. Well, let me carry this shit. I'll, it feels like, uh, I don't know. I don't like, I don't I like people serving yeah. on me. No, I, I like understand, that. yeah. No. I also feel like that's going to require me to give them more of a tip. Oh, wow. I'd rather just do it myself, <laughs> please. <laughs> All right, guys, I got a good one for you. Yeah. Fuck, Mary kill. Thank you. Nope. Not you. I'll say <laughs> <something> <laughs> that's else. a weird response. That's a weird response. You, weird response you, to have, that to, you have to pick one of well, the, it's, you have to pick one of these three ex-presidents to get elected president in 2024. Yeah. Kill, kill, kill. Andrew Jackson. Mm. Uh -huh. Richard Nixon. Uh -huh. mm. James Buchanan. I don't know shit about him. Who you I, running? Uh, who you running? Twenty twenty four. All right, all right, all right, all right. I uh, I marry Buchanan. <laughs> he was a lifelong bachelor. That's a good call. I'm fucking Reagan. He's not even involved. He wasn't really even okay. part of the. <laughs> <laughs> what? He, he wasn't even Reagan. part of the question, oh, but wait, that's... Who was it? Oh, was it Nixon? Nixon. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm fucking Nixon. Yeah, And then yeah. I'm killing Jackson. 
Yeah, yeah I think that's that's pretty good. Be, All right, might be yeah, the play. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think I'd fuck. I'm Jackson fucking Nixon on the side, okay? or I'm fucking uh, Reagan on the side, okay? <laughs> Just yeah, for fun. Well, it'd be fine for someone to fuck him for once. A... In a lot of ways. He just wants the trickle down. You mean because Nancy was mostly sucking him off, according to the legend? Oh, wow. Or like. <laughs> now that's rewriting history. That's trying to like whitewash history and make her seem like a good person. <laughs> she actually sucked ass at <laughs> yeah, <laughs> blowing <Yeah>. cock. <laughs> and I was like, oh, throat goat, throat goat. I was like, no, fuck you. You shouldn't get that throat goat clout. We are not going to rehabilitate Nancy Reagan by saying that she had the Gok Gok 3000. <laughs> I don't even know if she did that much wrong. She did the war on drugs or something. <laughs> she might be okay for all I know. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thank you for the question. Holy. Nah, she still sucks. All right, whatever. Yeah. Get her ass. Oh. Did you guys ever see the, I don't know if this is true, oh, thank God. because I saw it on Twitter, uh -huh. but mm -hmm. apparently after the Monica Lewinsky scandal, uh, Hillary didn't talk to Bill for like eight months or something like that, and uh -huh. the thing that broke it was that she phoned him and was like, listen man, you gotta drop some bombs on Serbia. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, he did. Uh -huh. And they're and still hard. they're still together to this That's what day. Kept the marriage alive. It's true love. True love. A shared, a shared hatred insane. for uh, anyone who isn't a white. I'm American. sure there were like some other, you know, details, but I yearn for like being a kid again. Please. Like the the bad thing oh. about Bill Clinton was that like he ate McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that was, that was it. I miss that. <laughs> That was much nicer. <laughs> yeah, instead of buying like the Super Bowl team uh, McDonald's so nice. Big Mac meals over to like the White House or whatever the fuck. Low key though, I bet like half the team was jazzed, man. Yeah. They were like, I thought we were gonna have to eat like some hoity toity, like, oh. you know, foam or something, but instead, Big Macs, let's go. Dude, have you tried the Big Arch yet? No, I, I never will. A Canada exclusive? Why, well, you're not gonna hit the Canada exclusive of Big Arch? Dude, it was pretty good. <laughs> I, I tried it. It's pretty Isn't good. it like a like a hash brown French fries? No, like no. two patties. No, it's, it, it's two patties and like it's got like fried onions on it. it fried like, onions. Some sauce. Onions it's pretty good. Though, it's like it's like on. a giant McDouble. I, I'll be honest with you. Sometimes I, I bring home McDonald's for as if I'm like coming back from the office. <laughs> <laughs> I bring home McDonald's for for the family. And I'm oftentimes like a McDouble, nothing else sort of guy. Just one McDouble? Just That's one fair. McDouble. And then McDonald's maybe like, like six apples. It, it is good. No, it's like, like McDonald's is the only fast food place that I'll eat. And like, no matter how much I've eaten when I'm done, I'm like, kind of want a little bit more of it. That's crazy. I'm just not really, uh, I, fuck man, I never go get McDonald's anymore. I kind of broke the fast food habit, except for the occasional Taco Bell. And Could be worse. Fine. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. The last time I had Taco Bell, it did bad things to me, so I'm never going to go That's back. Fair. I only, God, I, I haven't even had it in like a month or two. It's probably that's probably like not that long to most people. Wait, what? <laughs> they're probably like, wow, just no Taco Bell for a month. Holy. Oh, okay. Oh, God. I think that's within the spectrum of normalcy. Yeah, for sure. Honestly, it's been, I just have not been, I haven't been eating out or getting delivered. I've just been straight up eating at home. You know how it works? So people good. on Twitch chat are like, I never eat fast food. But then you check the fridge and it's like, you know, 22 empty beers. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah yesterday when I was at the, a week. at the grocery store, uh, the dude behind me in line, Bought two frozen pizzas and uh, like a two four of Coke Classic, and then when I got out of the grocery store, I saw him load that shit up onto his Harley Davidson and uh, peel away. It's like, damn, okay. he's about to have like a great night at the hotel. Yeah. <laughs> Quick scoop of poop or something. Yes. <laughs> Are you a Cobbs enjoyer? I'm not. I'm a Cobbs disbeliever. No disrespect. If, if you, it's a Vancouver chain bakery. Okay. I don't think it's bad. It wouldn't be my preferred choice. 
Yeah, like it's if, fine. It's it's better than gro- the grocery store, but absolutely. There's there's better bakeries for sure. I was in Ontario too. I had no idea. You go to Oliver's. Oliver's that that's it's stocked in the grocery store, right? Do they put it in the grocery store? I think so. Not not mine. What's your grocery chains up there? Oh, we got okay, lots of them. laws, and that's it. <laughs> no frills, save on foods, urban fair, or as I call it, urban unfair. Yeah, because it's Trump. very expensive. Okay, <laughs> but it's really expensive. It is. It's like you Whole don't, Foods. You don't get it. It's really expensive, man. Then you have Loblaws City Market, Lo- Superstore, which is also Fresh Loblaws. Street Markets. Yeah. We have Whole Foods, some places. We have TNT, which is like a. It's Loblaws, but it's Chinese. Here's what your grocery store would. Nah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> in grocery, right. grocery store and or, grocery store and orders and perfect menu. <sighs> say it. No, I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna say it. Respect on TNT. I got no respect for TNT, even though I shop there because it's fucking Loblaw still. It's just yeah. They, they try to and they try to trick you because they have their own point card. I can't it's, go Loblaws without thinking of Bob Loblaws. Loblaws. Oh, of yeah, course, yeah. 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 Loblaws is just like, um, they're the grocery company that owns like 98% of the places you can buy food in Canada. That's mm-hmm. fair, that's fair. And then the, the government, you know, took the guy to court because he's like, you're uh, price gouging. He's like, no, it's just the prices went up. We're not making that much more profit. Posts like, what, like 200% profit increase. Anyway, I guess I gotta go to a superstore today to go shopping. Could we call it? We're Superstore guys. Of course we buy President's Choice Blue Menu Lemon Sparkling Water. Sounds good. It's water. Oh my god. It's sparkling though. We're no frills guys. Of course we don't buy cauliflower because they don't have any today. <laughs> We're no frills guys. Of course the lunch meat square. Dude. Huh. We went into the grocery store this week and like... The produce section was like, we're living. Okay, yep. That hit everyone but me. Like, there was. There were no mushrooms. All of the tomatoes were rotten. Yeah. And still on the shelf. Fresh tomatoes? That's a frill. (laughs) This is not no frills. This is a a frills place. It has frills. Oh, my mistake. Hey, Corey, I don't think I told you, but last time we were at the Richmond Costco, cards? I actually oh. saw a, um, a free sample man tell off a child. It, <laughs> it made, like, he cut him off. Like, it was, it was so in funny. the meat section, so it was, like, some air-fried, like, you know, I don't even know, orange chicken or something like that. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, the yeah, kid yeah. went to grab, like, the ramekin, and the dude almost, like, smacked his hand away. And he was like, I'm getting it for my family. And he was like, if you come back here with your family, I'll give you another one. But I'm not letting you take one. And then the kid just Jesus walked away. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I didn't know they took that shit that seriously, man. I think everyone's on edge in the Richmond Costco. Like, it's a madhouse in there. Oh, it's every Costco, man. <laughs> you got to take I'm your life you, man, in your own hands, chill. bro. You'll get there, Justin. You'll get there. You'll accidentally go like on December 22nd or something like that. And And just never feel the same. How come the return line is so long? I know. You know why? Because the policy is so good. (laughs) Yeah. And people definitely don't take advantage of it at all. People do really like impulse buy like a $500 appliance and then just bring it back. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, you know. I had a friend that returned his whole wardrobe for the past four years that he had worn, and they did it. Insane. Did, okay, did your you friend's see- rocking. Your friend was rocking Costco wardrobe for four years. The Eddie Bauer and the fucking <laughs> champion it's, underpants. It's, and not, stuff. it's not Eddie. Ba- it's not Eddie Bauer. <laughs> Hurley or yeah, yeah, Levi's, but it's from like some other line of Levi's that you've never seen before. I'm just saying, no wonder he returned it, but. Did you see the guy? I saw a, a, a report that like Ooh. a dude returned a full ass playground, like a swing set <laughs> thing, like like an eight, like a, I think it was like it was like four thousand dollars or something in that he bought when his kids were a, were like five, <laughs> and he came in with his son who was like eighteen. My king, man. 
and he returned it, and he's like, yeah, my kids don't use it anymore. That is sick. <laughs> and, they, and they let him return it because he didn't have any, like, out, you know, he hasn't been doing it a lot. <laughs> he got all did, did he, like, back. disassembled it? Like, and brought yeah, in, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Like, he deserves his money back for packing this shit back in the box. <laughs> I don't think it came in boxes. I think it's probably just, like, planks. And I didn't even need the move, Justin, but I knew what you wanted to do. You son of a bitch. No. You're a motherfucker. Did, you Ryan, did you kill the lady in the shop? <laughs> mm, I think I like no. I rerolled the uh, the crystal golem. Oh, okay. We're just out of women with feet. Europe. They've been saying it's an you epidemic, fuck brother. You. Fuck you. <laughs> Somewhere, Quentin Tarantino just fell to his knees. <laughs> I need to get an emote of the British TikTok actor guy falling to his knees and his face is all like puffy and red and there's tears falling down his cheeks. That would be so perfect. I don't know who you're talking about. You know, as, Hiker sends one last video to wife before dying. Oh. I've, I've fallen. Oh. I think I've broken my back. Yeah, yeah. Listen to me, baby. The guy, he's been like an astronaut and like, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm so sorry. I'm not gonna get to meet our little girl. It's I crazy that it gave you another up. movement item after I took away your movement item. I know, it was so sick. <laughs> My ass couldn't have gotten out of the road. <laughs> Workers. I even fucked up my play too. I could have done so much oh, more. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What's up? Well, just the title of the guy's videos gets me every time. <laughs> Worker sends last video to pregnant wife before drowning. <laughs> <laughs> just to be clear, these are fictional scenarios made up for the videos. These are not like real things. Boyfriend with no legs find out finds out girlfriend <laughs> is pregnant. <laughs> That's a man with no legs finds out he's gonna be a father. <laughs> I can't! I can't! I can't! I can't do it! What is it like, oh. like an AI thing? What's going on? No, it's no, like he's he, he an gives, aspiring actor. Yeah, he uh, gives like a monologue, but like he's just sitting in like his car or something and he's just like holy he just cries a lot how do you guys uh we're so that, fucked i mean these people existed before they would just like be in yeah, a but we didn't, and no but, one but i didn't no have to hear, hear about, about it from it. you guys yeah, yeah. <laughs> i could live happily not having you mean ryan wasn't shit. going going to theater on the weekends and then giving anecdotes about it one fucking boot one fucking boot What's crazy is like, I'll be out there like reading a lot of like essays and stuff as well. But then like when the essays are over, I'm not gonna be like, hey, did you guys read, you know, everybody's beautiful, but nobody's horny. Instead, I'm just like, <laughs> you see, <laughs> you see the Costco guys play Kerplunk? They play Kerplunk? Nah, I made that one up. That was a hypothetical. Oh, damn, man. Ryan, did you hear about the, uh, the, the horrible attack in Vancouver this week? Yeah, I was uh, I was streaming on Tuesday and I got I was like playing Isaac and I leaned down to chat. And I was like, hold on, chat. I got uh, like eight unread messages from Alice. And I was like, oh, there was a machete attack. And then I just went talk <laughs> went back to talking because like I I processed <laughs> the messages that Alice sent me and I didn't give it out, like explain it to chat at all. I just went talking and then all of chat was just like, what the fuck is Alice OK? Like, what the <laughs> fuck is going on? I was like, oh, no, 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 no. She just saw, like, the shit going on down there. Yeah, my mom texted me, and it was, like, 6 in the morning, and she was like, hey, I heard someone got their head cut off down in your neck of the woods. <laughs> I was well, like, that's what? Not, that's not true. <laughs> I was like, mom, only their hand got cut off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They reattached it. Hopefully it works. It's fucked up. Don't kill me, dude. We've been through a lot here. You got 10 clank in there, bud. It's a perfect opportunity for me to escape. Wow. Oh, goodbye. If 
Justin doesn't Fuck win. Fuck you, man. I might not win. I didn't really do much. I don't know what you, I did. You live, honest. bitch. That's about all I did, though. 26? I got 35? a lot of shit from the shop, for sure. I got bananas. 62? We fucking tied. Oh, wow. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah! <laughs> What's this first on me, too? You both, you you both got first. You both got first. You both fuck? got first. I'm playing it. Yeah, that's first. Oh. It says first on me, too. I just might not be radiant. That's, that is really that's funny. funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we both won as Ryan pushes you off of the podium. Oh, man. I just stand on the bottom of the podium, like, completely <laughs> red. No, it's fine. <laughs> It's like I'm up there too. No oh, man, good games, guys. Good games. GG. Uh, have a, have a, good, have a uh, great weekend. Weekend is it Friday? Oh it's my Friday god, it's today. Friday. Yeah, have a good weekend. Yeah, have bye. a good weekend. Yeah, it's true. Clank went woke. Two winners now. Back in my day, we would just go to a penalty shootout or something. Um, let me see if my wife is ready to stream. I know, it's kind of crazy, right? I, I won three games of Clank, dude, in three games. They fucking hate my ass. This guy, neurodivergent motherfucker, shows up at board game night, introduces the game, wins all the games. Meanwhile, he's just quoting like eight second TikToks over and over <laughs> with no context. <laughs> four fucking seconds? It took you four fucking seconds to piss me off again? They're probably like, man, fuck that guy. Yeah, Kate says she's ready to stream. Who you got in the U.S. Open Finals? I mean, I got I've been repping for Jesse Pegula the whole time, so I gotta say her. Who's she up against? Sabalenko. That's gonna be a tough match, but I got confidence. I gotta go with Sinner as well. I think Sinner's got a chip on his shoulder. Also, I think I, even though he might have been doping, I think I kind of got like a soft spot for him because he looks like Sigourney Weaver. So in a way, I'm kind of like rooting for Sigourney whenever I'm watching a, a Yannick Sinner game. Did you see that Yannick farmed a 13-minute breakpoint on Sigourney? Um, see ya. <laughs> Please stop. No. No. Mm. No. Probably. I hear the rice cooker going upstairs. We probably got time to play some vandal. Rice cooking deserves a tasty rice. Do, 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 do. You know what I'm talking about? The REM poster? The washed rice in the basin. Heating up so slow. Cook it with pressure so the water goes. Every molecule soaks into a grain of rice and it gets so much softer. Rice cooking, cooking up that rice. Dinner's coming soon. That song is supposed to be Night Swimming by REM but with the lyrics changed to be about rice cooking. Why is your REM also Bell and Sebastian? We should be so lucky. That'd be like, Judy cooked the saddest rice. Cooked it in a pot when she was young. She couldn't afford a rice cooker. She had to cook it on the stove for once. Judy never ate her rice except when she was eating. <laughs> Sorry.